What's up mga kap and welcome again to our When in Halifax. Ayan mga kap. So this video, I'm going to share a video, a tutorial guide from iSANS wherein we invite iSANS in partnership with East Coast Filipino Portal and iSANS nagkaroon po kami ng isang video live stream discuss to us yung different types of how to find jobs in Canada. What are the things that you need to do? So because we all know that AIPP is employer driven. We all know that the easiest way to immigrate here in Canada is to find an employer. Most especially if it is an AIPP program. Remember, AIPP program is employer driven. So you need an employer. So this video, I just want, I want you to watch that video, it's very powerful video, it's a very informative video because Cassie is an expert from ISAN wherein ito talaga yung tinuturo niya sa ISAN, yung recruitment. Nandun yung diniscuss sa video yung how to do the interview, paano maghanap ng trabaho, how to do, um, ano yung dapat mong damitin, ano ang dapat mong itanong. So if you want to watch that video, I want I will put the link on the description below. And I'm going to give you some highlights, topics that she will discuss on that video. So watch this okay. mock up. With that said, we are going to begin the presentation by diving right into job search. And uh, as a teacher, I always like to make up ways to make things easy to remember. Uh, so when it comes to job search, I like to use the acronym or the abbreviation for R. Uh, and in this case, for R simply means four different R's that are very important for you to remember when you're thinking about looking for work in Canada. So the first R is reflect. Okay, and we're going to go through each of these in a lot more detail. I'm just going to introduce what it stands for first. So reflect, research, resume, and reach out. Okay, and as I said, each one requires quite a bit of attention. So let's start by thinking about how you might reflect when you're trying to find a job in Canada. So let's say you've already moved to Canada or you're thinking about moving soon and you're really not sure how to begin your job search, but you know that you want to find a job in Canada. The first thing I always say is to begin by actually reflecting on some of your career goals. So when you move to a new country, it's very possible there is going to be some kind of adjustment period uh, maybe you need to get your education recognized and you just want to start in more of an entry level job to begin with. Maybe you're in the process of finishing school, so you're hoping for uh, a certain career path long term, but for right now you're just thinking about, you know, trying to find any kind of job to gain some experience. So it's really important to set goals for yourself, both in the short and long term. So what do I think I can actually do right now? And what do I actually want for my future, you know, down the road or a little bit later on? OK, so these are things you want to reflect on. What kind of goals do I have? Write those goals down. I would suggest a couple of short term and a couple of long term goals that you feel are really important for you as a job seeker. The next thing you want to reflect on is your work experience, if you have any. So you might actually be a student right now or someone who's recently graduated. So if you haven't worked in the field you would like to get into yet, maybe think about your studies, whether it's high school, college, university. Think about what things you've studied or you've learned in school that might actually be able to help you in your career. So for example, it's very possible that you've taken courses throughout university that you think would be really helpful for you in your job search, or maybe you've actually worked on projects throughout your degree that's really made you a good team player or a good leader, and you feel like you're ready to maybe contribute those, those skills to a particular company. So really any kind of skills you developed either in your work or your studies these are the types of things you want to start writing down and reflecting on to think about how it might help you when you're finding a job. OK, you also want to think about any other activities you might have done, especially if you don't have a lot of work experience yet. 
Maybe you're part of a sports team. Maybe you've been involved in some kind of community club or um, sort of a religious organization. So you want to start thinking about everything you've been involved in and how those activities, whether it's your studies, clubs, teams, or maybe work experience, how has that helped you develop certain skills that might be useful for you when you actually want to find a job? You also want to think about strengths or passions you have if you're really not quite sure where you want to go yet in terms of work. So if you're recently graduated or if you're currently studying and you're trying to think about career paths, start thinking about things that you feel you're really good at, you're passionate about, um, and perhaps again, skills that you've already developed in life, whether it's in school or in your previous work experience. Now, moving to a new country, you also want to make sure that you do look at some important labor market information. And what do I mean by labor market information? Well, this is information that will tell you about what kind of... So that's the video, mga kap. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. Chinap-chap ko lang po yun. So if you want to watch the entire video, I want you to click the link on the description below. The re remember mga kap, the key para maging successful kayo dito sa Canada to get jobs. It's either permanent residence ka. Pag nandito ka sa Canada, you need to find job. You need this information. Or maybe na sa Pilipinas ka, you're looking for a designated employer. You need to watch this video. So it's very important mga kap to watch this video because this video can help you to find a designated employer, to find an employer. So even though papunta ka na dito, wala ka pa, nagpaplano ka pa, nangangarap ka pa lang, watch this video. And speaking of mga kap, we are also sharing a guide, a PDF guide for you, yung mga step-by-step -step process on how to write your resume, how to write a cover letter. So if you want to have a guide, a PDF guide from our guest, the previous kapihan, Miss Alva, click the link on the description below mga ka. So I want you to click that link. I want you to watch the video and click the link, get the copy of the resume, step by step. Ang kagandahan sa PDF ng sinir ni Miss Alva is meron ng examples my step-by-step step pa on how to write a resume um, in Canadian format. Now mga kap, you have the videos, you have the guide from an expert from iSense. A big shout out to you iSense. And of course from our special guest Miss Alva wherein she shared to us the step-by-step step or process or guide paggawa ng resume, paggawa ng uh, cover letter. So Wala nang rason para hindi kayo maghanap ng employer. Happy job hunting. So anyway mga kap, before I end this video, I just want to invite you to click the subscribe button, like this video, and on the notification so that you will be notified every time that we have a live stream, every time we have a video. And of course, I want you to follow the Cup Unity Canada. So if you are thinking to study here in Canada or if you want some professional advice, we have a licensed immigration consultant sa ating Cup Unity Canada. I want you to like the Cup Unity Facebook. And if you want to have assistance in any kind of immigration services, feel free to message us at info at capunitcanada.ca. Thank you mga kap for watching and see you in our next video. Bye kap!